Ubisoft is banking on Malaysia for fun. Destiny 2.0 update hits today. Pikmin 4 is almost done. No multiplayer for Rise of the Tomb Raider. And Pokemon found a new gym leader in Rihanna. I'm just kidding. The new Witcher 3's new DLC gets a level requirement, The Binding of Isaac gets a new expansion, and FIFA 16's demo is available for download now. This is Turn Base for the 8th of September. I'm Danica. And I'm Tamtu. Picture, if you will, a theme park full of rabbits, Rayman, assassins, and Templars, and that's exactly what Ubisoft is planning to create in Malaysia. The 10,000 square meter Ubi Park, not the official name, is set to open in 2020. Ubisoft Motion Pictures VP Jean de Rivières says that together we are creating a place where every guest is a player, every ride is a playground, every visit is a game. Only five years to see if they put their money where their mouth is. And in case you missed it, the Assassin's Creed movie starring Michael Fassbender as Aguilar, a brand new assassin, started production this week, set to release next year. Look at that costume. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Lara is forever alone in Rise of the Tomb Raider since it will remain a single player adventure as released today in the September edition of Xbox Magazine. In removing the multiplayer option, it will allow Crystal Dynamics to focus completely on making the single player experience the best they can deliver. Destiny's 2.0 patch hits today. The update rebalances a lot of weapon classes and transitions the game from year 1 to year 2. Most exciting part about this update is that players get a preview of the new PvP maps and modes for a whole week. All players. No purchase of the Taken King required and consider this patch a demo of the new version of Destiny. Also, rest in peace Yallerhorn. In an interview by Eurogamer held with Shigeru Miyamoto, the Nintendo creator announced that the fourth installment of Pikmin is close to completion. The strategy game hasn't seen an entry in the series since July 2013, and is not clear what system it will be released on yet. Wii U? NX? Who knows? Keep it here on Zoom in Games for whenever we find out. Today is also the day the FIFA 16 demo drops on PS4. Football fans will get to play with most of the popular European teams like Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain, but also the German and USA national women's teams as per new feature in FIFA 16. The demo will have some of the features available including kickoff, ultimate team draft, and a training mode. See you on the field. Popular indie game The Binding of Isaac is getting a huge expansion on October 30th called Afterbirth. A thousand new rooms, 120 new items, and a new character named Lilith, the mother of demons, who will breathe new life into the game. A new mode will be included as well called Greed, where risk takers reap greater rewards. Robert and Tara have some playthroughs of the original game, so be sure to check out the links below to see them. Lastly, if you thought you were done with The Witcher 3, the Hearts of Stone DLC is coming soon and will have a level requirement of 30. So this upcoming October, take up arms with Geralt once more during your playthrough or after you finish the main story already. And it's the Tuesday episode of Turnbase, so that means it's time for a brand new loot list. Coming out this week is the highly anticipated Super Mario Maker for Wii U, where we can finally create our own levels on Mario's 30th birthday. Tearaway Unfolded for PS4 is the revamped and improved version of the PS Vita title with more features using the PS4's controls, making the Media Molecule game bigger than ever before. Castle Crash's remastered comes to Xbox One as well as Clusterpuck 99 and co-op shooter Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. A new Star Wars dungeon crawler in the new canon universe is out on iOS and Android called Star Wars Uprising, taking place between Episode 6 Return of the Jedi and the upcoming Force Awakens. The latest DLC for Dragon Age Inquisition is called Trespasser and is out on Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Army Croc and Circa Infinity make their way to PC and Hatsune Miku Project Mirai DX for 3DS will be here this week for you to get your virtual idol fix. Lastly, mobile platformer Leo's Fortune gets an HD edition on PS4 and Xbox One, wrapping up this week's loot list. So what are you playing this week and what are you getting out of this loot? Tell us in the comments below or leave us a tweet, message, snap or Instagram on our various social media. We'll be back Thursday with more game news that matters to us here at Zoom in Games. I'm Danica. And I'm Tamtu. Now it's your turn. Turn, turn, turn. Someone said this outro doesn't work anymore, so we might have to get a new one. All right. On Mario's 30th birthday. I'm older than Mario? Yes. 85. I know. I felt the same way.
shut up yet. <laughs>